hearing all of these sounds. But why is it? Is it that you fear the gun? Or do you fear the person behind it? Do you fear what I might do with it? Or do you fear the actual gun? You see, a gun, it's just a tool. Just like a knife or an axe. If I ask it to kill someone, it won't. Let's prove this. I'm going to lay here on the ground and ask you to kill someone. Go ahead, kill someone. Is anyone dead? No, I don't think so. But if I was to pick it up, point at someone, and shoot, then someone would die. But now, why is it that we fear the gun and not the person behind it? And we seek to bend them instead of fixing the actual problem. You see, culture around guns has been changing around the days. Since Columbine, everything changed. As students came into school and did what no one thought they could do, kill their peers and classmates. After they did this, culture around guns, around students and everyone, changed. For ways, you see, as I said, gun is a tool. And just as it can be used for good, it can be used for bad. But let's focus more on the good things instead of the bad things. You see, in the United States, well, a policeman, well, police women, she was around 152, which is even shorter than me, imagine that. She had to respond to an emergency call of a two meter tall man, 200 pound guy. Now, he was armed with a knife and was training with going into a hospital and stabbing the, the patients. Let's say the police woman was not armed. What could she have done? Even though she was capable, man was taller and probably stronger because he was bigger and had a knife. The police officer after what responded, asked the man politely to please stop doing the stuff that he was not supposed to do, and the man decided not to. That's when the police officer decided to be the one to use a tool for a gun for good. She was the one who stood behind a gun, which was the only thing between the man and the death of people in the hospital, the police officer, and probably even more people. So how about we stop focusing on banning guns and blaming them and start focusing and giving actual care. Care for those who show the signs to use it for bad instead for good. How about we, instead of focusing resources to ban guns, we focus the resources on giving actual health care, giving actual care to those who are in a bad spot in their life, and how about we give good spots to those who are having a rough patch through school so they don't have to kill their peers. You see, guns have been the ones who have stood between evil and good. For example, in Germany, 1939 to 1945, they were the ones, the guns were the ones who stood between the massive genocide and the stopping of it. You see, I believe that guns are not the problem, the lack of care is. My name is Gonzalo Garcia, and this was, the, the lack of care is the problem, not the guns. Thank you.